gay fish, yo. Motherfucking gay, 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 gay. I'm a fish, yo. Going on a gay fish, gay fish. Now where I belong, girl. Making love to other gay fish, gay fish. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. This is it, guys. This is the finale. Well, it's not really the finale, but the finale of the main game, Pokemon Platinum. In this episode, we're going to be taking on the champion, Cynthia. Now, uh, here's a quick look at my team. You may notice I uh, did some, uh, let's call it training, because it definitely wasn't rare candies. It was training. But here we are. go. This is the final battle against Cynthia. Finale. Have you been keeping well? Thank you for Mount Coronet, and for the Distortion World. I am truly grateful. Together, you and your Pokémon overcame all the challenges you faced, however difficult. It means that you've triumphed over any personal weaknesses, too. The power you learned, I can feel it emanating from you, but that's enough talk. That's gone on with why you're here. As Pokémon League Champion, I accept your challenge! Here we go, guys, the final battle against Cynthia! Oh my gosh, I am so excited for this, cause... Oh, look at that. Striking that pose, Cynthia. He's gonna start off with the spear tomb. It's kind of a weird Pokemon. Look at its typing. It is dark and ghost type, which means it quite literally has no weakness. So what I'm going to do in here is I'm just using as much same type of hack bonus as I can. Uh, and I'm going for Fuji because I know Fuji is one of my biggest attackers right now, whether that be special or physical attack. But Fuji is basically one of my hardest hitters right now. And uh, yeah, as you guys can see, yeah, the levels were definitely necessary because I just couldn't beat that Garchomp, I'm sorry. That Garchomp is just so strong, and with my team, you know, I try to use a, a less overpowered team, if you know what I mean. Really, a team that's not really as used in Pokemon battles, and I just couldn't do it, because Garchomp would literally be faster than all my Pokemon and one-hit kill them with Earthquake. Uh, but I'm actually out of PP here on Flamethrower, which is kind of annoying. I do have some Elixirs in my bag, but I can't use them in battle, so... Uh, I'm going to have to take a minute to heal up Fuji here. Uh, I probably should have done that, actually. I probably should have used some elixirs before starting off this battle. But anyway, she's going to go out to Milotic here. So I'm actually going to be switching the hair out of here. Uh, because I don't want to deal with that Milotic with Fuji out there. Because we kind of need Fuji uh, for a couple more Pokemon. And she's going to go for Surf. Um, now, I'm actually hoping. I don't know if these levels will actually help out because I didn't do a test run. But basically this uh, Milotic will use Miracote, and basically Miracote will do a ton of damage if you use a special move on it, which is why I'm going for Leaf Blade on Wuju here, because basically that would mean his move would fail. Let's see if it does. Aw, oh, baby, there you go. Fading out that Miracote. Uh, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately enough, Cynthia's not dumb enough to use it twice, so she will go for another Surf next. And I am actually hoping, I don't know if these levels will help out because I didn't do a Tusk Run, but I am definitely hoping that the, they will help out against that Garchomp. Uh, because Garchomp is level like 62, I believe. Um, I think I think it's like 62. I I don't know. It's just, I just know it's some ridiculously overleveled thing. So, uh, so I had to train, and by train I mean her candies. I, uh, I don't even know. I don't. I don't know. I don't really have a reason to lie about it. If you want to hate on it, I don't really mind either. So, um, um. Anyways, next up is going to be Spear Tomb. Now, I don't know if she's actually going to go for another full restore here, but, uh, basically, uh, alright, um, I, yeah, okay, so apparently she's not going to go for a full restore, but, so it looks like that, there goes Spear Tomb, second Pokemon down, and we still got none of ours down, but we do have two that are fairly weakened, so, not doing too bad so far, but next up is going to be Garchomp. Now, this is the moment of truth, guys, this is when we see if Vanilla is actually faster than Garchomp, or it can survive an Earthquake. Otherwise, we're pretty much screwed. I don't think we're actually going to be faster than it. Oh my gosh. Yes, we are! Oh, baby, here we go. We can actually get off the Ice Punch and hit that Garchomp's dick. Oh my gosh, hit him in the dick with it. Oh my god, barely killed it. Oh, damn it. Oh, oh, man, that sucks. I probably won't be able to survive Dragon Rush, so this is going to be it for Vanilla. But we did do a ton of damage, and we were able to be faster than Garchomp now. So that is awesome. Unfortunately, Vanilla, that's the end for you. So we're going to have to go for Pacific, the backup plan here. I did actually go, or I did uh, get the Ice Beam TM from, uh, where is it actually? The Veilstone? 
or not the game corner. Well, it is the game corner. I don't know if it's in Veilstone, uh, but I but you can get an ice beam there. So I did use the money to get that, and this will probably be a one hit kill. Wow, I wasn't expecting this. I probably should have just max revived vanilla, but I'm dumb. I did actually get ice beam on Pacific, however, so just trying to use that. Unfortunately, not fast enough. So we're gonna actually have to revive. <laughs> that was definitely just a unneeded sacrifice to Pacific there. So. We're actually gonna use a max revive on vanilla here. I'm I'm hoping that Cool can actually maybe survive a hit because I actually just accidentally revived Pacific re instead of uh, reviving vanilla. Probably won't be able to survive, but let's see. Let's see. Come on, Cool. I know you can do it. I know you can do it, my baby girl. Come on, you can survive the Dragon Rush. Come on. No. Oh, let's go. All right. And then, all right. Nice. So now I actually go for another max revive on vanilla here. Uh, I have to only have two of them. I'm going to use them. I was saving them for this battle specifically because I know I need them. Because, oh my goodness, Cynthia is just super strong. She's... I would dare to say that she is the strongest uh, Elite Four or Champion, sorry, in any of the Pokemon games. And the reason I say that is because she's not in, like, a monotype. Uh, because every one other Elite Four is kind of in a monotype. And they're always taken by, down by, like, the same Pokemon or the same type, type uh, Pokemon or the same type. And... I don't know, it's really just not that challenging. And I really love Cynthia because she's got every single type Pokemon. And it's just kind of awesome. So there goes Garchomp or Ace Pokemon. Using them overpowered Pokemons. That's the way you do it, Cynthia. There you go. Anyway, next up is going to be Lucario. And you guys may notice that I've been avoiding using Quaker. Because uh, Garchomp's ability was actually Sand Veil. Which means in Sandstorm, its evasiveness rises. And because Quaker throws up a Sandstorm every time it comes into battle... I basically didn't want Garchomp to have that advantage over me, so uh, next up is Lucario, basically kind of threatening here, Lucario, because it's one of our highest level Pokemon, and um, level 60, and it does actually a ton of damage to Quaker, but we do survive it, so we can go for a s Earthquake and uh, survive an Aura Sphere, and we can hit it with a super awesome overpowered Earthquake. Shake them legs, Lucario, because you're about to go down, buddy. Oh yeah, type advantage just just does it. Really does it in Pokemon. I don't know if I went too overboard with the levels there, but uh, I did need basically yeah vanilla to be faster than Garchomp. Anyway, next up is gonna be Roserade. You can pretty much take this thing out with a bunch of different Pokemon. You can use you can use whatever you want. You can use Ice types, Fire types. You can use whatever you want. I'm going for vanilla uh, because I know vanilla is gonna be faster, and because vanilla is. Basically one of my greatest attackers right now. It's the best physical attacker on my team. I'm pretty sure a uh, special attacker would be Fuji, but it, it, Vanilla is one of my hardest hitters right now. But there goes Roserade, one hit kill with Ice Punch there. Roserade can actually set up quite a few things for you, which could be annoying. Uh, you can see all the moves in the sidebar, but it can be annoying, just know that. All right, and last up is gonna be Togepiss. Now as uh, I think someone would say, this, this is Togepiss, you know, her last Pokemon for this. Or after this, sorry, we're pretty much the champions of the Pokemon League now. Uh, this token is a little bit of a douchebag because um, I think it's it's kind of annoying. Has like a bunch of annoying moves, but uh, oh, I don't know if we can actually survive an Or Fear. We did do a ton of damage, Ice Punch, but I don't know. Come on, Vanilla, I know you can do it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh man, Vanilla Ice, Ice Baby, falling to. Aura's view there, so that's a little bit annoying. I think we can actually go for Pacific now, though, since I did heal her up, and we can go for an Ice Beam and take out the Togekiss, as long as we survive a Shockwave slash Aura Sphere. Um, one of those two moves is probably going to go for Yep, there goes the Aura Sphere, because it basically gets uh, boost the power of it, or uh, raises the critical hit ratio. I don't know. I know it does something. I remember using a Togekiss in Wi-Fi and it was super annoying to everyone. But we do survive in Aura Sphere. We can go from the Ice Beam. And let's see if it takes it out. Come on. Come on. Yeah, buddy. Here we go. We are now the champions of the Sinnoh region. We did it. Even though I cheated, I feel terrible about all the down. Just a few minutes ago, you were the most powerful challenger and just now you became the most powerful of all trainers. You are our newest champion. I know I could have done it. Uh, well, I'm saying that now, but <laughs> dislike this video because I suck at Pokemon. That was excellent. Truly an outstanding battle. You gave the Pokemon support. You need to maximize their power. And you got in there with victory, just certainty to secure victory. You have both passion and calculating coolness. Together, you and your Pokemon can overcome any challenge that may come our way. 
Those are the impressions that I got from our battle. I'm glad to take part in the Chronicle of Sunlight's new champion. Alright, so now we're walking up. Oh my god, I can't we believe we finally beat this game. It's taken so long. Well, I mean, there's still the post game. I have to decide whether I actually want to have the time to do that, but we have basically beaten the game. Uh, how do you guys like the new intro, by the way? Gayfish. Do you guys think of that? I put Gayfish in the intro. Intro with the new, like, custom icon. I'm trying to divert from the track that I didn't cheat to use. The room from ahead is the Sinnoh Hall of Fame. Oh, no, your last battle was splendid. Oh, hello, Professor Rowan. Mm, a child I listed for my Pokemon. Next project is a this part. It's only natural that I come to witness a child in crowning glory. When all, I shouldn't call you a child anymore. You've grown into a real champion. Professor, you still enjoy the enthusiasm your kid brings to you, don't you? When all, please step this way. Professor Rowan, please join us. Okay, so here we are heading into the Hall of Fame. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure if I want to do the post game, but I don't know. If, if you guys want to see me do the post game, there is still a lot of stuff to do in Platinum, so please let me know. Anyway, if this is your last time here when I was I became champion, then yes, that would be quite a long time ago. Oh, really? Alright. Oh, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Are you trying to say, like, Cynthia's old? Your names will be recorded for posterity here. What you're leaving behind in memories of your adventure so far. It's time to be recorded. Your names, you and your wee Pokemon. Remember, your Pokemon are partners with you grew through many challenging battles. This machine will blah blah blah. Alright, so here we are, guys. We're entering the Hall of Fame. So, entering the Hall of Fame, we got Fuji, the Magmortar. We got Pacific, the Empoleon, our starter Pokemon. We got the super duper tank of awesome Quaker, the Hippowdon. And we got the Blimpness, Cool Whip, the Drift Blim. We got the Munches, Vanilla, the Weavile. Probably my favorite, I don't know why. And lastly, Buju the galley. And of course we got ourselves. And with that, we've completed Pokemon Platinum. Not really. We do have the credits to go through, but I usually don't do credits for the main game. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for watching this. Uh, I might actually do the post game just for fun to see because I know it's very challenging. But um, that won't be for a while, so I'll probably be doing some other games. But if you guys want to check back on my channel, then probably do so when platinum is back so thank you guys for watching this so far if you want to leave a thumbs up for cheating my cheating to beat cynthia then please go ahead and do so and i'll see you guys back some other time with some more platinum goodbye